question is, though, now in the clash, would you wear a pronoun badge at work? Well, four in ten people say that they would be less likely to keep working for a company if it made them wear a badge displaying their pronouns. Now, these findings uh, are from Think Tank Policy Exchange, which found that 43 percent, that magic number, 43 percent Nigerian, 43 percent, it's all there, isn't it, of people stated that they would be less likely to continue working for a company who, which asked them to wear a pronoun badge, with only 7% saying that they'd be more likely to want to work for the company. So would being told to wear a pronoun badge put you off working for your employer? Well, joining me now in The Clash, Nigel Nelson and Adam Brooks. Adam Brooks, would you like to wear a pronoun badge? You're the boss, I anyway. wouldn't wear one. Yeah, I wouldn't wear one, even if GB News asked me to wear a pronoun badge. Sorry, bosses, but I, I, I wouldn't wear one. It's woke nonsense. Mm. You know, we've spent the last few years having LGBTQ plus and a million letters rammed down our throats. Mm. And this is just another part of it. I mean, the they them one was oh. the one that really got oh, me. God. You know, these are proper lunatics. I mean, it, it is attention seeking mm. of the highest order, as if I'm going to call you a they them. They, well, what does that even mean? It doesn't make sense. Well, there's only one of me, Adam. It's just, it's ridiculous. And, you know, yeah. anyone that, you see all these virtual signalers on, on Twitter. Oh, no, I've got my, I've got my uh, pronouns in my bio. I'm such a nice person. Mm. I'm just helping out the gay community or, or the LGBT. No, you're making yourself look idiots. And I've got gay friends, gay colleagues that think the same. It's nonsense. Mm. And, you know, I'm not playing that game. Nelson. I wouldn't wear, wear a badge either. Um, however, there would be one exception. If, if it was offered by a company, I mean, no company should mandate it. Mm. If, if badges are offered, and I think that's the right thing for companies to do, so those who want to wear badges with their pronouns on can, I wouldn't do so unless a number of people, my colleagues, came to me and said, look, we'd feel really much more comfortable if everybody did it rather than just a few of us did it uh, who were non-binary, say. I'd still say, <laughs> I'd, I'd still, I'd still say no. And, and this non-binary oh, nonsense, God, you know, again, it, it, it is attention-seeking of the highest order. You're either a man or a woman, or you might be a man that thinks he's a woman or a woman that thinks he's a man. But this non-binary, this is just a trend. Well, this hang on. Is... I was trying to show Are you some respect. Are you non-binary? No, I'm not non-binary. What, what is non-binary? If I was using, I using pronouns, I, I'm a he, him. Um, but the whole thing is non-binary does exist and one should show respect. What, what is it again? It just simply means that you're, not, you're, you're neither. So you're, that's, that's fancy well, that's, land. It's a neither. separate gender. Yeah, but, but that's... OK, Nigel. Well, but, whether but you is, believe in it or not no, is no, irrelevant. No, but, but it is... OK, it, doesn't, it is true whether you believe it or not is irrelevant, but it is a fantasy, isn't it? Because there's no such thing as somebody who's neither male nor female, either one or the other, to a different degree. So you might well, be more uh, female or more male. Officially, either officially way, non-binary is not recognised as a gender. Exactly. So it's but, made up. But people, people it use nonsense. it as a gender. And I think that in the workplace, you would have to respect their decision. Just because they've made it up. Well, listen, I could make up a load of things. I'm going to tell people at work now, I am to be referred to as HRH, Her Royal Highness. Can I do that? No. Or, or what about exactly. if I, I sat I'm here and said, I, I am now a giraffe? <laughs> And you must call me a giraffe, Nigel. Would you do that? If, if, if you required that to, for me to respect oh, you, I would be it. happy Nigel, Adam, to call you a giraffe. Lies. You would yes. not call him a giraffe. It is attention seeking. It's rubbish, isn't it, it's Nigel? No, it's Seriously. not rubbish. If, if I said but that to my son, who is six years but it old, isn't rubbish. he would laugh in my face. Exactly that. And let's, just, let's just remember. Uh, a man, it doesn't matter what surgery a man has, what drugs a man takes, what wig he wears, what, you know, fake boobs he, he has put on. He can never become a woman. And this is where society has broke down. We have got people like Eddie Izzard that, you know, are in the media and celeb world, and people are calling Eddie a she. It's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. He's a man. You're a he, Eddie. I'm sorry to tell you that. This